Yo, your most places where I minister at, they don't be inviting me back because I don't preach or believe that crap. Seriously, you know why? Because I'm a threat to your ministry. And sincerely, verily, I say, don't ever question the Lord's divinity. You see, you won't, you won't find too many preachers that, um, you know, that, that, that preach and believe the, 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 the full gospel of Jesus Christ, you know what I mean? The ones that's going to tell you about His holiness, the ones that's going to tell you about, about sin, you know what I mean? And, and, and tell you that you have to pursue righteousness and holiness and all this other stuff. It means nothing. You're not going to find too many people like that, you know, preaching in pulpits or at, or at these other venues or what have you. They, they don't want to hear us. You know what I mean? They want to hear the, the, the pop tart, you know what I mean, jump. You know what I mean? And, and it's, a, it's a lot of ministers out there. You know, it's a lot of ministers that, that's lying to y'all. You know what I mean? They, they telling y'all things that y'all flesh want to hear. Opposed to really telling y'all what the Spirit of God wants to let you know. You know, and overall, what the Spirit of God is saying is the same thing that He's been saying since the beginning. And it's not prosperity. It's not um, ministry. It's, it's not... All the stuff that we hear, the only thing the Spirit of God is saying is to repent because the day of the Lord is at hand. That's all He's saying. Repent and get right. And He will fill you. He'll give you the tools and all the strength, everything you need to be right. So when Jesus comes, you'll be ready to go with Him. You know what I mean? And, and, and to abide with Him in eternity. You know what I mean? And, and until that day, you know, he'll give you power to overcome sin. A lot of people don't preach um, overcoming sin through the blood of Jesus because whenever you preach that, the, the enemy will try to bombard the, the very person who's preaching it. You know what I mean? He'll, he'll try to bombard you, bombard you, or overtake you with sin because you're preaching against it. And you're telling people about it. And because you're pursuing power in the blood of Jesus. That's why they don't tell you. They want everything to be easy and smooth. I get attacked a lot, man. I get attacked every, almost every day of my life. Like, since I've been preaching, man. And... But that don't mean that I'm a stop. I fell down, you know what I mean? I messed up. But I don't like to stay there, and I don't. You know what I mean? I'm not afraid to preach against sin. I'm not, a, I'm not afraid to preach the good news of Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed of this gospel. It don't make sense. You will look silly and stupid preaching this thing. But I don't care. One day I'm going to die. So I got to tell y'all the truth, man. A lot of these rappers, Christian rappers, Christian preachers, so-called prophets or whatever, they lying to y'all. And y'all really got to wake up and dig into the Word for yourselves, man. And ask the Holy Spirit to teach you and show you. And you submit to the authority of the Holy Spirit and He will lead you. And He will keep you from error. You know what I mean? And to, to the preachers, the prophets that... That, you know, not a lot of people are listening to you. So what? Keep going forward. You know what I mean? You don't need a video. You don't need an album. You don't need DVDs and CDs and all this junk. This garbage. All you need is the Holy Spirit. That's it, man. That's it. This road is narrow. It's not wide. Don't let nobody deceive you. Don't let TBN and these Christian networks deceive you into thinking that that's what Christianity is about. Christianity is about what's in the Word of God, and it's about your life if you be in it. Know what I mean? So that's it. Am I angry? Yes, I am angry, and there's nothing wrong with that. The Bible says, be angry, but sin not. God is an angry God. He's loving, but He's angry too. He's angry at the sin in our lives, and He wants to, 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 to work out the sin in our lives. You know what I mean? He, he can't do nothing with us if we dirty. He, he, he can't. There's only one thing, two things he could do with us if we're dirty. And that's cast us in the fire or clean us and make us pure. Which one do you want? That's all I'm saying, man. It's not time to beat around the bush. It's 2010. I'm about to have a son. You know what I mean? And, and he's about to be born into all this, this nonsense. 
This, this, this is foolishness. You know what I mean? So look, Facebookers, y'all wake up. You know, I'm not invited a lot of places to minister and preach. You know what I mean? So the Lord made a way for me to minister and preach via Facebook. I'm not ashamed of it. You know, people really don't want to hear me. You know what I mean? And I turn down a lot of venues also. People do ask me to minister places. And a lot of times I turn them down. You know what I mean? Because the Lord... The Lord doesn't tell me that he's going to be there. So I don't want to go wherever the Lord ain't going to be there. It's just a bunch of flesh. You know what I mean? But, you know, whatever, man. But the truth will set you free. All right? Y'all love y'all, man. But I love Jesus more. So y'all be blessed. I read my word already. I prayed already. You know, I, I drove over to Baby's R Us and picked up a mattress for my little son. And now I'm about to eat. Some ravioli. You know what I mean? Then I'm going to go to the gym and take my behind the work. Until then, y'all take care. I love y'all. Peace.